Hey guys, welcome to your new love reading for Libra. This is going to be for your uh, December 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We are going to take a look at the new love that you could be dealing with or you could be dealing with in the future. So apply this to your own unique situations, okay? Uh, you may switch the roles if you want. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that is dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Um, also, if you guys are interested in wanting to book a personal reading with me, the link for that is also in the description box below. Also, you guys, I'm running a... Uh, Black Friday sale. All my personal readings are 30% off. If you guys are interested in redeeming that code, the link, uh, the uh, description, uh, the information is in the description box below. Book while you can because the um, code does expire on Black Friday, which is tomorrow. Okay, so what messages do we have here for Libra regarding a new love that Libra could be dealing with? or dealing with in the future. You can apply this to your own unique situations and your own timelines, okay? It could be a future event. What is the over energy surrounding this new love? For Libra. We have courage. Willingness to confront agony, pain, danger, uncertainty, or intimidation. Strength to venture, persevere, and withstand danger, fear of difficulty here. Okay, inner child healing, going inside to explore our authentic feelings and parts of us that may have been rejected and labeled as inappropriate or too much by others, especially by our caregivers here. And also we have past life, okay. So past life, intuitive and telepathic communication, time seems to stop in each other's presence, instant connection and deep emotions, feels very familiar with each other here. Okay, this, so right off the bat here, this is a past life connection here, but this is a very triggering connection here, okay? I feel like in this relationship, in this connection, it will trigger someone's wounded inner child here. And you feel like someone here is gonna be faced with, the courage of trying to heal that inner child. So it could be you, it could be both you guys, but there's definitely some deep inner work that needs to be done in this past life connection here. And it, interestingly enough, in this situation here, Libra, the past life connection that you guys have with this individual here in the past life, you could have been a parent of your partner. You, you know what I mean? So it could also be vice versa. It could be switched around. And it could be some sort of inner child wounding in the past life here and also in this lifetime here for you or the person that you're dealing with here, Libra, okay? I do feel like uh, this time around, you know, when it comes to this relationship here, you guys meeting each other, I do feel like this relationship can potentially glow up here, you know? It can, you know, uh, be, uh, you know, uh, an indication that, you know, the vibration and the consciousness surrounding this relationship here is raising here. What else do we have here for Libra? What does Libra need to know about this new love that they're dealing with here or, or dealing with in the future? Uh, let's see, we have the Empress here, Libra Taurus here, and also the Judgment card. Wow. Um, Libra, this is you right here. When it comes to this relationship that you're stepping into here, okay, it's going to be incredibly transformative for you and the person that you are meeting here, okay? So uh, I'm getting Leo here, I'm getting Libra, Aquarius, uh, not Aquarius, Libra, Taurus, and also uh, uh, Sagittarius energy here with the Three of Wands. And we have the King of Pentacles here. Okay, perhaps this is an individual here that's dealing with the inner child wounds here because on my table, this is what it looks like. This King of Pentacles is running away from this Empress here. And this Empress has that healing touch, that healing presence here, which I feel like this person's having a difficult time facing. You know, so Libra, you can have this like energy where when people are in your presence here, their healing process are, is already beginning. It's already starting, okay? So you might have that gift of that, that healing gift here. All right, we have the Page of Swords, Libra, Praise, Gemini. And the Ten of Cups, okay. 
this can turn into a happy, fulfilling relationship here, I feel. Okay, here's the thing. I do feel like there's some deep inner work that needs to be done here. Okay, uh, I do feel like one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like the person that you're meeting here, I feel like you're meeting this person on one of those dating apps here. Okay, this person might come off as someone who's very grounded, who's very stable, has their life together, but there has they have some deep inner wounds that they still haven't really healed from yet, and you will trigger that healing uh, for them. All right, uh, and you will support them in their healing journey. Tell me about the uh, um, Empress here. And the Three of Pentacles, yeah. With the Three of Pentacles here, this could be indication that you guys will be on the same page here and yet you guys will work together really well together here. Okay, the Ace of Cups here and also the Judgment card, okay? Yeah, this is new love here, okay? Uh, like I said, you, this could be happening in real time or that this could be a future event. So just apply this to your own unique situations here. The Three of Wands here and the Sun card, okay? Yeah, this is a beautiful past life connection coming through. This is a very healing connection here. And one of the things I'm getting here is like, I do feel like there is someone that you're dealing with or meeting here that is embracing the potential healing of themselves here when it comes to this connection here. Like, I just feel like whoever this is, this person's like getting the memo here, you know? We have the hangman here. You know, this person's definitely gonna gain a lot of perspective here. This person's going to go through some sort of spiritual enlightenment here too. We have the page of swords, plus the page of swords here. And we have the full card here, Aries energy. Ten of cups, and also the king of swords, okay? This is an individual here that's willing to take a huge leap of faith here with you too. And then do you feel like with the King of Swords here, this person's definitely making plans for the future here when it comes to you here, Libra. What else do we have for, for Libra? What is the outcome and advice here for Libra? What else does Libra need to know look out for work on when it comes to this new love? For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for December 2024 for Libra. So we have the Ace of Pentacles here. So two Aces here. This looks really good. This is, There's a potential for prosperity, growth, and commitment here between you and your person here, Libra. We also have the Devil card. Okay. And the Four Cups. Yeah. So I feel like this is someone's inner child uh, 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 wounding that's coming up to the surface here. Okay. We have the Devil, Capricorn energy, and the Four of Cups here. We also have the Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and we have the uh, Nine of Cups and the Two of Cups here. Look at this. You guys are going to fall in love with each other here. Um, this is so interesting. Uh, one of the things I'm getting here is that when it comes to this new love here, I see you guys actually having two children here. Okay. I do feel like you guys are going to be very happily fulfilled. You know, I do feel like there's going to be harmony here. There's going to be balance here. I do feel like there's going to be definitely a release of this negative energy that could be surrounding someone here when it comes to their inner child woundings here. So, you know, also someone here is definitely doing some deep karmic work here because I feel like, you know, if there's kids involved here in the future, I feel like whatever someone is holding on to, they don't want to pass it down to their children. Okay, so the Ace of Pentacles here, Seven of Cups, the Devil, and also the Seven of Swords. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is going to be quite challenging because like at some point here during the situation, I do feel like some here is going to sabotage this relationship here, but some here is going to realize the potential of the healing uh, potential when it comes to this connection here. The Four of Cups. With the Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Page of Cups, and the Tower, Aries, Scorpio, Energy. Um, here's the thing. I'm feeling feel like I'm feeling like it's gonna be kind of like an on and off situation for a little bit before you guys will fully really come together here. Okay, the Nine of Cups and the Five of Pentacles here, and the Two of Cups. Yeah, it's gonna be quite challenging here because I do feel like this is an individual that's gonna have a really hard time facing this. We have the King to Queen of Pentacles here, true pair here, okay? But you know, I do feel like, you know, it's gonna take some time, but I do feel like you guys, someone here will work through their traumas here. So, Libra, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.